In this video, you will learn how to plot a semi-log graph paper using LaTeX software. You will get a PDF document from LaTeX, which you can print and then you can plot your data. So if you are not familiar with LaTeX software, LaTeX is a free open source software which you can get from the internet and you have to install LaTeX editor and LaTeX distribution. And if you are not familiar, you should not watch this video. First, you should install LaTeX and learn a little bit about LaTeX. I will put uh, some links to my videos about LaTeX. I have many videos on my channel about LaTeX. And so you first watch those videos and then you uh, follow my instructions on this video. So please don't waste your time if you are not familiar with LaTeX. But if you know LaTeX, then the purpose of this video is to show you how you can plot a semi-log graph paper using LaTeX. LaTeX is a type setting software. This is not only free. The good thing is that LaTeX is the best software for creating documents. Whether you are creating a research paper or a thesis report or a business uh, pamphlet or brochure. So uh, you may consider using, start using LaTeX. And uh, now let's talk about a little bit of uh, semi-log paper because some of you might have reached on this uh, video uh, by searching for semi-log paper. So therefore, I have to explain a little bit. So semi-log paper is a paper in which on one of the axes we have logarithmic scale while on the other axis we have normal or linear scale. So logarithmic scale is used when you are trying to plot two variables in which one variable is varying at a much faster rate than the other variable. So if you use a logarithmic scale on one side, then the plot will look better. And it will be easy to visualize the relationship between two variables. If you look at logarithmic scale, the difference you will note from the normal scale is that on this log scale, equal distance does not mean that equal value is changed. Let's say the center of this is 10 raised to the power 0, which represents the value of 1. So this vertical line has the x-axis value of 1. The second vertical line next to it has the value of 2. The distance between these two lines is approximately 1 inch, while the next line, the distance is approximately 1 centimeter, which is not same as the distance between these two lines. But the value increase is same because this third line, this, this line represents the value of 3. So the next line is even more closer but the change in value is again 1. So this is logarithmic scale. Now let's see how we can quickly plot this using LaTeX. So this is the simplest document minimum you can say that in a LaTeX document you need three statements. Document class, begin document and end document and if I compile this document I will get a blank PDF. But now we have to plot a semi-log graph paper. So to do that first I have to use a package and these packages are used to do certain things in LaTeX. So the package I want to use is called PGF plots. So use package PGF plots is the statement I have to use and now inside the begin document I have to start one environment which is called ticks picture environment so what I will see I will write begin ticks picture environment so every begin statement must have an end statement so ticks picture environment should be ended so it's better to write both statements so that you don't miss anything. Now inside this text picture environment, I have to start axis environment. So begin axis and end axis. On x axis, I have logarithmic scale. So I would say x mode is equal to log. And now we are giving options to this axis environment. So therefore we have to start a square bracket and all our options will be within this square bracket. So x mode is equal to log and I will separate my options with commas. y mode is equal to normal then comma. Now I have to put the limits. What is the x minimum value? 10 raised to the power minus 2 and x maximum is 10 raised to the power 2. y minimum is minus 60 and y maximum is 60. So I have to put these limits. x minimum is equal to 1 e minus 2. x max equals 1 e 2. y minimum equals minus 60. 
y max equals 60. Now I want grid on both sides. So grid equals both. Now you can give the width and uh, height of the graph paper. Width equals 10 centimeter. Height equals 7 centimeter. Now on this graph paper, as you can see that these are the major grid lines, this line and this line. And these lines have a little bit darker color, maybe 50% black, while the other lines in the middle, they have lighter color, while at the corners, they have darker color. So these colors are by default. So if you, for example, want to change the color, then you can also change the color. So let's say that this is called major grid uh, style. So I want to change the color of major grid style. So I can say major grid style equals and then within the curly brackets I can give the color black exclamation 50 means uh, roughly 50% black. So this is the way you provide color. And now our graph paper is ready. So hopefully it will be okay if I have not missed any commas or something. So I just compile using this uh, button. And now it has uh, compiled successfully. So now I can create a PDF by clicking on this. I can view the PDF and now my PDF is uh, here. I can change the scale to let's say a little bit larger. And now this is your graph paper. So this is how you can create a semi-log graph paper uh, using LaTeX. And now as you can see that uh, we have got this PDF which we can print and then plot our data. So I hope you find this video useful.